Yes! And what's good, Green Fit Nation? Yo, look, right? <laughs> so I was scrolling my timeline like I always do. You guys know how I start these videos. And I be, listen, I don't be lying. I did just be scrolling my timeline, minding my own motherfucking business. Then I saw this caption, man puts out pregnant girlfriend for getting pregnant by another man. And I said, what the fuck is going on here? And honestly speaking, right, two things. Number one, I need us to stop putting this exclusively on black women because this is not a black woman thing. You understand? This is a woman thing. Not This is not exclusive to black women. A lot of things that, you know, we get on this internet, and I, when I mean we, I mean us, you know, black, you know, black men. We, you know, we get on this internet, and we put things exclusively on black women that, you know, black women definitely are a big part of it. I'm not, hey, 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 hold up, hold up. Nobody said it wasn't, but it's not just them exclusively. But anyway, that's that. Second thing, you know, I don't know if she's, all the way in the wrong, you know. I mean, one thing's for sure. One thing's for sure, right? She's definitely wrong for not keeping it a hundred and telling this man up front. But fellas, listen to me, right? No woman wants to struggle with you. No woman wants to be going half and half. They don't. I'm not saying that I'm against going half and half. I'm not. I'm not against it. I'm not against it at all. I'm just saying a lot of women don't really want to go half and half. Some women, right? I'm. Some women who really like, who's like really down for you, would definitely have no problem going half and half. They got your back to the end, no matter what. Those women are a rare find. You find one of them, you lock them the fuck down. Get them pregnant. Don't even waste no time. Just get up in there, shoot that club up ASAP. But most women, though, they they don't, man. They 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 don't. And then you get situations like what we're about to react to today. But anyway, before we get into the video, please make sure you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel at RainFit TV. You guys have been killing it. We are at 854 subscribers. Yo. Fucking love y'all. Appreciate it. I'm grateful. I'm super humbled by all the support, all the DMs, all the new followers on my social medias. Yo. No, for real. Real shit. I'm grateful. I appreciate every single one of y'all. And of course, follow me on my Facebook page at RainFit TV. And of course, follow my ex at RingFit24. All right. I'm not sure if she's white, Spanish. We're we going to see. I, I, I'll tell you if I, you know, whatever accent I, I hear in the video. But let's go. Not saying that her race matters, but I'm just pointing it out there. You're a loser. Wow. Yeah. How, am I supposed to, how am I supposed to be with you when I got these men all the time in my DMs offering me luxury cruises mansions all this different stuff and then i come home to you playing video games in your underwear god damn that is so fucked up fellas listen to me like i said and i'm not sure what video i said this i said this in a previous video a person is only as faithful as their options you understand and this shit this one little clip this one sentence is why i always tell and i always advocate Never get too comfortable in a relationship. You understand me? Never get too comfortable. Always, if you could, fellas, make enough money to where you can afford the rent on your own just in case, just in case you guys split up and you don't want to be asked out because you were dependent on her income to help you pay the bills. And the same thing for my ladies. Listen, right? Never solely depend on a man for anything, you understand? Always make sure that you have your own God bless a child that has his own. You understand? Can I get an amen in the comments? But anyway, never get too comfortable. Like I said, these women are only as faithful as their options. And the reason why I'm singling out you ladies is because it's mostly you women. Now, a man with a lot of money has a lot of options. That's a fact. But the average man, respectfully to us fellas, right? I'm keeping it 100. We don't have as many options as these women do. All these women have to do is just get on social media, take their clothes off, and like she just said, her inbox is going to be flooded, full of simps. Oh, yeah, they're definitely simps. Offering, offering them all kind of luxury 
everything from travel to clothes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I've seen it happen. I know. Yes, yes. She is not lying. Oh, before I continue, I meant to say that at the top of the video. This may or may not be a skit, so we're just going to take them at their word. I apologize. I meant to add that in the beginning. I have a tendency of forgetting things. All right? I'll, I'll let it continue, but God damn, that was fucked up, bro. Never get too comfortable, fellas. It was good when we first started dating. That's seven years ago. I've grown as a person, and you haven't. I've outgrown you. I mean, I mean, could you really be mad at that? Could, all right, listen, right? <laughs> I try to be as fair as I can be. Can, could you really be mad if you're with somebody, right? And they're not trying to grow and they're, and they're not trying to progress. I, I'm not mad at her for that. Respectfully, I'm not. And I'm, me personally, I'm not. Right? I'm always trying to grow. I'm always looking to progress. I'm always looking to evolve. So if I'm with somebody, right, and you're not trying to match that energy, if you're not trying to grow with me, you're holding me back. And you only live once. <laughs> we only get one shot at this shit, man. Listen, if you're with somebody and they're holding you back, they're not trying to grow, hey, listen, do what you got to do. You can stay with them if you want to. That's your choice. But in my opinion, at least at the bare minimum, try to get them to grow with you. Wow. So after all these years, you have to tell me that about getting pregnant by another man? We yeah. couldn't we couldn't separate for you. We couldn't have this conversation I mean, before we happen. got to this this part things happen but th i had to you, find you, out that's fucked up <laughs> what do you mean things happen bitch no all right listen <laughs> that's so fucked up <laughs> no things don't happen bitch you was out here cheating you know I mean? oh my god yo dude is way too calm in my opinion but i get it right there's no point in turning up there's no point in turning up in the situation but i'm just saying like dude is way too calm you know but I'm, I'm just saying, but that's fucked up. What do you mean things happen? No, things don't happen, motherfucker. You cheated. Just tell me that you're no longer answering to move on. I'm not, I wouldn't be mad. She was pregnant. You weren't taking care of you. me. I, that's low. You were not. The bottom line is that you were not taking care of I'm me. I'm a hard so working I man. I get. To another man's arms. I'm a hard. Uh, like I said, never get too comfortable, fellas, because these women, most women, I'm not saying all ladies, right? If this do not apply to you, I am not talking to you. But most, in my opinion, this is my personal opinion, most are looking for a man to take care of them because all they want to do is be pretty and not do shit and have everything handed to them. Most women are not built for the grind. Most women are not built to go through the struggle with you. They're not. Most. And I'm not talking about black women. I'm talking about women as a whole. You understand? Black, white, Spanish, all of them. I'm not, this is not exclusive to black women. I'm talking about all races of these motherfuckers. All flavors! <laughs> Most of them just want to be taken care of and have in and, and, and the easy life. Most. Hard working men, I, give, I, I gave you everything you asked for me. What more you want? I'm in here splitting half of these bills. You're not taking care of me. The rent is $4,000. God damn! <laughs> Shit! 4K? What the fuck? I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Listen, from what it sounds like to me, man, the man's not making enough. He's doing the best he can, you know, and. Well, fellas, serious question. What would you guys do in this situation, right? You know, you're paying $4,000 in rent, right? And you're with a woman, and she's helping you pay the bills, and you. Basically, from what I'm hearing, he is dependent on her income to help him pay the rent. What do you guys, like, how, how would you guys solve this situation, like? Because, like I said, and this is all my opinion, but these women, mm -mm, most are not looking to help you help you uh, pay, pay, pay the bills. Most, most women are looking for a man to pay all the expenses while they do nothing but travel, shop, and fuck. <laughs> That's all they want to do, travel, shop, and fuck, for the most part. That's it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what most of them are looking to do So like I said for us If you find one that is willing to work with you Is willing to grind with you You get her pregnant <laughs> She ain't going to win No I'm joking I'm joking about getting her pregnant But, but I, I am serious about lock her down man Make sure you know that she's appreciated Make sure you know Make sure she knows that she's number one Make sure you keep her motivated To keep going through that shit with your ass Because once you come out on the other end of it Because I know Fellas we go we, one thing about us fellas is that we we listen we go through the shit and we come out stronger on the on the end baby let's get it
So once she come out on the other end with you, that's how you know you got yourself a rider. Women like this, like in this clip, they go to the highest bidder. Mm -hmm. They go to the highest bidder. And ladies, y'all know I ain't lying. Get mad at me all you want to. So, a real man could pay that $4,000 and then some. I should be in the hills somewhere. See what I mean? Told you. You know, this, this is expensive. I gotta maintain with Botox, you know, like. Oh yeah, she's white. All right, she's white. Botox. That's that's that's. I've I've never heard any race, and I'm not trying to be racist, but I've never heard any race other than white people say anything about fucking Botox. <laughs> Unless I'm wrong, I could be wrong. Talk. Let me know in the comments. I could be a bit ignorant, but God, I told you right. Most of these women just want the easy life. They just want to be taken care of like a like a grown child. Most of even want to cook or clean. None of that shit. They always talk that real man is supposed to pay the bills and do all this other shit and break his back and. To make sure that I don't have to do nothing while they contribute nothing. Please, I didn't want to get started. I'm trying to be fair. I'm trying to be nice. I'm having a good day, right? And I'm trying to be nice. Let's go. Like, you don't want me looking older. I got to take care of myself. You don't pay for that. You have all these expectations on me that you can't even provide. And that was the end of the clip, but what the f the and another thing too, right? Most women are very selfish, right? It's always about them. It's always about what's best for them. It's all about, you know, it's about all about what the man isn't doing for them. Very, very selfish. Jesus Christ. Listen to me, man. Um, if I can talk to do in the video, right? I don't even know why. I mean, I do, I do kind of understand why he's pleading with her, you know, but me personally, I would have taken this as a sign and I, I would have been grateful and I would have moved the fuck on. I would have been like, yes, you know, you are absolutely right. Brother man, you dodged a bullet. <laughs> you understand? She is going to the highest bidder. Let her go. Like I said in the previous video, man, the vagina is never yours. It's just your turn. You understand? <laughs> it's never yours, man, but I get it. You know, some some relationships are not as easy to walk away from. And I'm not ignorant to the fact that he probably needs help paying those bills. So I get it. You know, you know, you are dependent on her income to help you pay those bills. But one thing you don't want to do, fellas, right, is find yourself in a situation to where you are dependent on a woman's income to pay for anything. You understand what I'm saying? anything because the way social media is the way society is the way they are programming these women <sighs> they're programming these women to tell them that a man is supposed to pay for everything get nothing and be happy for the motherfucking opportunity <laughs> that's how these women are being programmed yes they are if, if they tell you otherwise they fucking lying now, like I said, if you find yourself a woman that doesn't, that goes against that grain, you lock her the fuck down. You make sure you, she knows that she is a queen and because she is a rare motherfucking fine. But like I said, most of these women just want to have everything handed to them and don't want to do shit. And they are simps and they are lonely simps with money who have nothing better to do than to just splurge on bitches. They're out there. So, you know, it is what it is. But, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I just want to react to that video. But, if you think that video is crazy, right? If you think what that lady said was crazy, check out what this lady said. I'm, I, I don't think you guys are going to believe this shit. Video's on the screen. <laughs> we out of here.